It's day two of Operation Eagle Bath, with volunteers scrubbing bald eagles to save their lives. Well, now the company that may be responsible for the disaster is pitching in to help. CBS 11's Andrea Gusty is live in our studio tonight. And Andrea, a lot of people following the plight of these eagles. Oh yeah, the response is statewide. Well, it all started on Friday when a dump truck outside of Ocean Beauty Seafoods was left uncovered. Today, the owner of the fish processing plant, Ocean Beauty Seafoods, is speaking out for the very first time about how they're trying to make things right. It was something no one was prepared for. A mass feeding frenzy in a dump truck outside a fish processing plant. When the employees realized what was happening, they backed the truck back into the bay to get it out of the driveway and put it back inside the building. But by then, there was lots of eagles inside. For 22 eagles covered in fish oil, it was too late. They died. The remaining 31 were flown here to the Bird Treatment and Learning Center, where volunteers and bird experts are working round the clock to wash off all that fish oil to save their lives. We've already had several people get lightheaded just from the heat and humidity in the wash area, so we have to let them take a break and rehydrate and cool off. Unfortunately for one eagle, their efforts weren't enough. He died Monday night. I think maybe he ingested more of the, the fish debris than some of the other birds. Maybe he was a little dehydrated, wasn't able to regurgitate, um, just didn't process it well. With the death toll now at 23, the focus turns to the federal investigation. The U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service says for each dead eagle, the maximum penalty is $105,000 and a year and a half in prison. If the Washington-based Ocean Beauty Seafoods is found criminally negligent, they could pay nearly $2.5 million and someone could face 34 years in prison. If someone finds us guilty and, and say that it, you know, we 100% caused that to happen, and they fine us, we'll pay our fine. No matter what, the president of Ocean Beauty says they will try to make things right. We're going to do whatever we have to do to try and make sure that those surviving birds get reintroduced into the wild. The wild is a while off for these eagles, but if all goes well, they could be flying free in a few weeks. Since the bald eagles died, Ocean Beauty Seafoods has donated um, $11,000 to bird treatment centers all over the state, including $5,000 to the Bird Treatment and Learning Center here in Anchorage, where the remaining eagles are being cared for. Now, just feeding these birds takes 93 pounds of salmon a day, so they definitely need your help. If you want to help them help the eagles, the center is looking for fish and dollar donations. For more information on that, log on to our website at ktva.com. Live in the studio, I'm Andrea Gusty. CBS 11 News.